Lastly is Proposition 48, a referendum on an agreement to build a new casino near Madeira. So, some history behind the casinos in California. When Europeans first began settling in California and the rest of the modern-day United States, they essentially spread through the land by killing off the native population and taking the land. After the Native American population was wiped out, Americans started realizing that what their ancestors had done was probably not particularly moral and felt the need to offer some kind of compensation. Rather than return land that was taken in generations past, California instead grants Native Americans substantial autonomy in their own territories throughout the state, with permission to govern themselves independent of many laws and regulations of California. Since it is illegal to operate a casino in California, in practice this independence has granted Native Americans permission to operate a small number of casinos in California. In total, 58 tribes located in California operate 59 different casinos throughout the state. This proposition would ratify an agreement to build one more. This is an agreement that first began forming in 2005, when the North Folk Rancheria tribe requested permission to acquire some land near Madeira to build a casino away from their reservation. The agreement between the tribe, the county, and the state was eventually finalized in 2012, and as part of the agreement, the Wio tribe in Northern California agreed not to build a casino in their lands. Instead, the North Folk tribe will direct some of the revenue from the casino in Madeira to the Wio tribe. As you may have gathered from some of the commercials from Prop 48 campaigns, there are special interests on both sides of this proposition. Other casinos have conflicting interests, people in the county are divided on whether or not they want a casino in the area, and politicians have also been taking sides on the debate. Realistically, building a new casino probably won't increase gambling, but it may redirect it from other nearby casinos or Nevada. There will likely be an increase in revenue in Madeira resulting from this casino, but it will likely take revenue away from other casinos in the area. Some of the money will be given to the county and the state as part of an agreement, but it will likely end up being an insignificant fraction of the state budget. In the end, it really comes down to the question of whether or not you want a casino in that area. This has been a project a full decade in the making, and it comes down to an approval from the citizens of California.